Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Once Upon a Crescent. This is season seven with your host and storyteller, Mrs. Hashmi. This podcast show is especially about kids like you. My dear Muslim kid listeners, you are incredibly special to me because if you think about it, I am a part of your imagination. While I'm telling the story, you are imagining it. Now that's really special. Let's get started. Mm, where's that imagination button that I have to push to start this episode? Oh, there it is. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's story is called Safiya and Hayat's Dentist Appointment. Safiya carefully chose the perfect blue for her sea creature artwork. Safiya loved drawing, especially animals that lived underwater. Today, she was focused on completing her coloring of a beautiful dolphin before it was time to go to her dentist appointment. Safiya patiently filled all the white spots with blue while her little sister Haya peered over her shoulder. Mama walked into the room with a friendly reminder. Okay, girls, we have to go to your dentist appointment. If you'd like, you can take a clipboard in a few colors to continue this artwork in the car. Safiya paused her coloring for a moment and looked to Mama. Mama, my friend told me that dentists use drills on people's teeth. Is that true? Mama replied, Dentists do use lots of different tools to help their patients. Some may need different things to help them have healthy teeth and gums. But today's appointment for you girls will not involve any kind of drills at all. I can tell you that for certain because, alhamdulillah, we brush our teeth well every single day. This is just a checkup. That's all. Safiya and Haya's dad walked in, waving two different miswaks. This light brown colored twig was a familiar item to Safiya and Haya. I use the most amazing miswaks for my girls, alhamdulillah. I brought both of yours from the bathroom. Come, I'll clean your teeth with your miswaks before you leave. Safiya pointed to the thicker one and exclaimed, Wapa, that one is mine. It's the fatter one, and the skinny miswak is Hayaz. Their dad smiled, nodding. He took turns, placing each of his daughters in his lap to give their teeth a quick whisk and brush by the miswak. The Prophet ﷺ used this special twig as a way to keep his teeth and mouth clean. It is one of the best practices to keep your mouth fresh and healthy. You girls are doing a sunnah here, mashaAllah. He kissed their foreheads and nudged them forward towards Mama, who was waiting to take them to their dentist appointment. Haya, who was only three years old, gently took hold of her skinny little miswak from her dad's hand and informed, I want to take my miswak to the dentist. Safiya overheard her sister and ran to her dad and added, Oh, Wapa, can I take my miswak too? Their dad didn't mind at all. The girls followed their mama out the door. Both girls happily stroked their teeth with the miswak until they got to the car. When Safiya and Haya arrived at their dentist appointment, they were greeted by the receptionist who waved to them. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. The dentist will be with you shortly. Ooh, what's that in your hands? The receptionist asked, looking to the miswaks in Safiya and Haya's hand. Haya spoke up and informed. This is our miswaks. We use them like this. Little Haya gave a little demonstration to the receptionist. She used the miswak and gently stroked her teeth up and down, just like her father does for her every night. The receptionist smiled and gave Haya a thumbs up. 
Safiya and Haya still had their little miswaks in their hand as they patiently waited in the lobby. At this point, though, Haya was pretending the miswaks were fighting sticks. She swooshed her miswak at Safiya's to engage in a playful miswak fight. Mama looked to the girls and whispered, I'll take these and keep them safe in my purse. Thank you. Mama plucked the miswaks from their hands and put them in her purse. Just then, the dentist appeared by the doorway. Hello there. Let's get these big girls to their chairs to start their checkup. Sophia walked behind the dentist to a long chair. Sophia used a stool to climb on top of the chair. She got comfortable and stretched out her legs. She looked to her side and noticed so many different looking tools arranged neatly in a row. Sophia was quietly observing the new and unfamiliar things around her. Her ears perked up to the sound of different instruments. She looked around to see if there were any other kids around. The dentist spoke up from behind her mask. Sophia, I'm going to take a look inside your mouth now. I wanted to count all of your teeth to see how well they're growing. Can you say, ah, for me? Sophia opened wide. The dentist leaned in and counted each tooth out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, until she announced, Wow, Sophia, you were a great patient. You have 20 healthy teeth. Congratulations. You are cavity free. You must be proud of yourself, huh? Taking care of teeth this well is a big deal. Sophia lifted her head and replied, Did you know my Wapa uses a miswalk for me and my sister? Wapa says it's the best thing for your teeth. This one is mine. This is my miswak that I brought to show you. The dentist was so interested in the miswak. Sophia held out the twig to show the dentist. She took it from Sophia's hand and looked at the miswak carefully. Mama smiled and added, This twig is known to have special benefits when using as a toothbrush, actually. The dentist touched the end of the miswak and slid her fingers across the little bristles of the miswak. Wow, this is really interesting. Do you use this every day? The dentist asked Mama. Mama nodded. Haya interrupted with her excitement. She wanted to join the conversation too. Look at my... Miss Walk, it's the small one. The dentist chuckled. Well, please tell your Wapa that he is doing excellent in helping you girls have healthy, strong teeth. Mama took a breath of relief. Oh, alhamdulillah, she exclaimed to herself. The dentist looked to Haya and asked sweetly, Hey, are you ready for your checkup? Your sister did great. I hope you are as comfortable in this awesome big chair as she was. Haya hopped onto the chair with the help of the dentist. She cooperated for the entire exam. Haya needed special vitamins to be brushed onto her teeth. But she did not like that part of the checkup. Ew, I don't like this yucky thing. The dentist chuckled. <laughs> I know, Haya, but thank you for letting me brush it on there neatly. You girls made my job easier today. I would love to give you a prize in a goodie bag. Haya straightened in her chair, eager to see her prize. Haya watched as the dentist reached for something under the chair. She pulled out two bags and two sticker books for the girls. She handed it to the girls and greeted. Have a great day, you two. Keep doing your routine with your wapa. Sophia and Haya waved their goodbyes to the dentist as they excitedly tried to peek inside the goodie bag. Mama took the miswaks and put them inside each of the girls' goodie bag. 
She looked at them and playfully joked. All right, girls, now it's time for you to carry your things around yourself. When Sophia and Haya reached home from their dentist appointment, they immediately dumped out their goodie bags to see what all was inside. Inside the goodie bags was a brand new kid-sized toothbrush with the matching colored kid-sized toothpaste. There were little floss sticks inside as well. All the items were scattered on the floor. The miswak that Mama had put was also on the floor. Haya looked at the items and held the miswak up. This is the biggest toothbrush, the Wapa one. Then this is the Mama toothbrush. This is the little Haya toothbrush. She said, pointing to the floss stick. Sophia laughed and laughed at her three-year-old sister's imagination. <laughs> Sophia thought it was too funny how Haya made up a whole family of things with her goodie bag items. Sophia and Haya's dad smiled. I am the miswak. <laughs> oh no, that's too silly. Sophia ran to her dad to give him a hug. Wampa, how did you know that miswaks were good for our teeth? The dentist was so happy to see our teeth. She said they were healthy. Sophia exclaimed with joy. Wampa matched her excitement. Oh, alhamdulillah. I knew it would be good for you because anything that we follow from the Prophet ﷺ's life is goodness for us in our life. When we try to follow any sunnah and do the things that the Prophet ﷺ did, then good things happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, and whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger will be in the company of those blessed by Allah. Safiya held on to her thick miswak and looked at its pokey end. She wondered where this twig even came from. She asked out loud, Wapa, what tree is this twig from? And where did you get these miswaks from? How come other people don't use miswaks like us? The dentist didn't even know what it was. Safiya and Haya's dad welcomed all the questions. Ah, okay. Let me show you a picture of the tree where miswaks come from. Safiya and Haya left their goodie bag items on the floor. They cozied up next to their wapa to learn more about miswaks. Mama smiled at her girls and felt grateful for their healthy teeth. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khairan for listening to the story. This episode was sponsored by Sister Zara for her two daughters, Safiya and Haya. I hope you girls enjoyed this story. For all my dear kid listeners, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. I'm going to be coming online again for a virtual event called What's in a Name? I'm going to be talking about the importance of names and sharing my illustrated original works called Abdurrahman's Amusing Alliterations. We're going to have a fun time. That's on August 5th, Saturday, 11 a.m. Central Time. To purchase a ticket for this virtual event, click on the link in the description box. Until next time, assalamu alaikum. <laughs>